just a few minutes away, in Tankerton Bay, Toby Gay and his team have just an hour before the tide returns. But they've made considerable progress since we were last here. Their discoveries have made it a wreck of national importance. Well, we've got lots of this collapsed deck structure, so we know it had decks, partial or full, as part of a knee there. But we've also got what we think might be a galley. So this is where the crew would have cooked food, ah. which is pretty amazing. How do you know it's the galley? Well, the bricks, obviously, oh. to protect the wood from, from the fire. You've got decks and a galley, you're talking there's a crew, it's not just a few people living on here because they're cooking on yeah. here. Do you have any other, any sense of who they would have been yet? Well, we're starting to get uh, other finds, personal effects of the crew coming up, which is fantastic. This is what we were hoping for. Uh, so, for example, just here we've got the sole of a shoe. Oh, my but goodness. There you go. <gasps> That so is tiny. It is, it is very Ooh, small. Careful, careful. Yeah, <gasps> but th these are the kinds of things that will tell us about the uh, the human side of this story. So you can just sense everyone's having a great time, and it's thrilling. But I mean, what is the actual significance of a wreck like this? Wrecks of this date are pretty rare. So we're, we're talking about um, somewhere in the region of 25 worldwide. Uh, even though it's partial, what remains of it is, is exceptionally well preserved, and that that makes it quite a special thing. When I saw you, you were finding amazing things coming out there, actual personal finds from within the boat. Yeah. Can that help in yeah, any way? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, it can help. Uh, these are, are two of the shoes that we found. <laughs> Just roll that back. We do Whoa. need to keep these wet because they're, they're very fragile. Uh, but these, these tell us quite a lot, actually. That's the bit we saw. That, that's, that is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is a bit. And it's not, you know, we, we assumed at the time it was a sole, yeah. but actually it isn't. It's part of the side of the shoe. But what we've got is we've got two different types of shoe, and they're, they're both absolutely right for the second half of the 16th century. They're both welted. Would you say welted shoes? What's a welt? So a welt is this strip of leather that holds the sole to the upper. In this shoe, we know that this is a slip-on, and it's got a single quarter at the back. What's a, a quarter? A quarter, a quarter. Is, is the bit of leather that wraps around your heel. Yes. But this shoe, it's got two quarters. <laughs> so they're so, stitched together at the back, yeah. which so, is uh, familiar. It is exactly how uh, most people's shoes are made these days. The sizing is interesting as well, because this is an adult size 2 and this is an adult size 3. Okay. So they, they are tiny, but that's normal at that time. The other thing I remember is you were turning up evidence of what, like, the galley. There were those bricks. Yeah. Is that right? Did that bring anything else up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got some very nice finds out of the galley area. Uh, an example is this, this <gasps> lovely spoon. Oh. So it's, it's wooden. It's exceptionally delicate. It is very delicate. It's got a very fine handle and a nice piece of carving. Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> but also we've got evidence of what they were eating. So, for example, here we've got a bit of um, cattle tibia. And we know from the, the marks on it that they were filleting off the bone. So they were, they were cooking it in the galley and then cutting slices off to eat. Is there anything you can say further about what the boat would have looked like? It may have looked something like this. This is a bus and it's an iconic type of Dutch vessel from the time. Was there any cargo on board? We couldn't find any evidence of cargo. I think it's likely that the, the local inhabitants would have come down to the vessel and would have cleared it out of pretty much everything. And we're, we're just lucky that we've got the bits in the lowest part of the vessel that was probably flooded and full of water that they couldn't get at. And you just must be absolutely desperate to go back and find more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we very much hope that we'll be able to go back because they, they, uh, the wreck clearly has more to give. So, yeah, we'd like to get back there.